Don't fall. Don't fall. No, it's going to break. No, it's so no. Just fall down into my blade. No. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things playing scrap mechanic whoa stuff and things look a little bit different that's right ladies and gentlemen progress has been made thank you so much for coming to hang out with me make sure if you like the video you see today don't forget show your support smash that thumbs up button and if you're new and you haven't already subscribe for more whoa whoa dude an update a backpack update check it out man we didn't have this before we can't we couldn't sort before or search and it looks like it's a thing whoa wait a second here hold on oh man i was really hoping we'd get these mouse over deals too it looks like that hasn't happened yet so we're back in scrap mechanic and some stuff and things have changed of course it's going to be night soon and it's going to be dark um but yeah so you guys check it out this thing these things these things i'm gonna tell you all about it but the biggest thing is that you guys know we do a lot of stuff over here at youtube we do a lot of stuff over at twitch.tv slash uh in the last series we did on conan exiles uh i did two separate playthroughs for you guys and i feel like it was really oh no no, no pardon me i did one playthrough for you guys and i feel like i really did you guys a bit of a disservice uh because it felt like i progressed too much off camera uh and it was a little bit weird now with uh that being said with scrap mechanic I said to myself, self, oh, we can actually put that down right there. We got a little bit of metal over here, and I'll tell you all about what's going on here. I said, self, I'll do two separate playthroughs, but this game is just too grindy for that, man. I just can't do it, man. It takes hours of off-camera work. Hey, that's my cow. Look at these guys, man. You got what it takes? Ah, jump maneuver. Ah, jump maneuver. Yeah, that's right, you stupid dummy. I saved your life, cow. Don't you love it? What's the matter? Oh, look, he's sleepy. Bye. Um, so I felt like I was doing you guys a disservice in Conan because I was making too, prog too much progress off camera. I feel like I'm doing you guys a disservice in Scrap Mechanic because we are not moving ahead fast enough. Um, it just can't spend, you know, 10 hours on each playthrough grinding component kits in order to show you, like, the next level of thing. So we're going to combine the playthroughs, and it's going to be perfectly fine. Uh, the only difference is that there's going to be a bit of a technological advancement uh, because we're a little bit further ahead over here. So we build a new car. It is a dual-purpose transporter deal. Do I have anything inside of these guys? Transporter, exploring vehicle, and... Uh, minor 49er. So we have a gas tank on here linked to our engine. We have a scrap engine that's hooked up to the front here to our drills. And we can pop inside of this guy and go ahead and drill up some stuff and things. And you can see here, I have built some of the new things. So these guys are called, let me show you up inside of here in case you don't know, but I'm sure a lot of you guys know already. It's the refinery bot and the resource collector. I've also got the food bot over here. This guy and we're crafting up some of the veggie burgers, which I think are the better value. Uh, and they completely fill your food and, and water. At least they did. I'm not going to eat right now, so I don't want to waste it. So, uh, yeah, we're doing stuff and things over here. And I built another cow pen that, as well as the previous one, does not work. And I made it look kind of like a Jeep. Um, so, that's kind of the basics of what the difference is over here. I'll show you how some of these guys work. I'm going to put my walk stake over there. We do need to get a little bit better organized. So the refining bot and the resource collectors, you can place these guys uh, anywhere in and around stuff and things like so. I could place one guy down right there like that. Uh, and then when you get near resources, you can either put them in manually or it has a little AOE where it sucks the resources up. Uh, and then we can put it next to the refining bot here. And what I've done is built one of the large chests. Put it on the back, and oh yeah, baby, we've got stuff and things. All the metal blocks, all the stone over here like so. So that is going quite well. I told you about that guy. We have some extra chests. I also found out that you can add these large chests to an input and output of these of the craft bot here. So we're going to go ahead and collect that guy, and then we are going to rotate this. Bam, like so. I actually think that's a little bit backwards. Under cover of darkness, our farm area over here. Uh, so we have our farm over by this lake right here, and we are growing a lot of different stuff and things. We have a lot of stuff ready to rock and roll to make some more veggie burgers. But what I've decided to do here is um, not grow tonight because I want to reset the raids. The raids are kind of a thing. Now, before we were kind of fighting the raids, we were trying to grow uh, plants in like little four-by-one 
plots and not have too many of them. Uh, and I've decided not to do that. I want to encourage the raids. I want to kill as many of the bad hombres as we can because uh, they are unbelievable and amazing resources and we can get a lot of cool stuff and things from them. So, next order of business or something that I'm thinking about here. Uh, some people are saying there's a lot of different discussions about the cows. Some people are saying there's not a way to keep cows. Some people are saying that you have to keep cows on the grass in order to get them not to despawn. Because if you remember before we were playing, we were getting some despawning of cows. Um, there's a lot of different things going on as far as what people are saying. You know how people are. Um, now, I have cows and have that had them in a previous uh, save that got corrupted. And they were over in the paved area. Right over here. Underneath these lights. And they were absolutely not despawning. Not despawning at all. Even moved out of render distance. There was no despawning happening. Right in this area here. So I'm going to try to build this pen over here in the grass. On this little grassy area here. It's grass, right? To see if maybe the grass theory works. Let's find out. Aha! He's done it! Here it is! I figured it out. You know what was weird? I had to actually place the chest against the craft bot. I couldn't just place it in the correct area on the floor. I had to place it against the craft bot. So now we can actually set this up to infinitely craft any item and then all of the blocks that it crafts automatically go into this chest. Looks amazing and feels good, team! Alright, also... Our new cow pen, just in case, is right over in here. We don't need to do this, man. These cows are always around. They're always around. I've never been in a situation where I can't find them. Um, they're always here. But I've only placed one in here. I also made sure I placed some blocks all the way around, uh, not just using these pre-made deals. Um, and we're going to see if this guy sits in this area here. We'll see what goes on with that guy as well. So, uh, next order of business. I mean, I really need component kits. I need a bunch of them. I have a bunch of gas now, so we're good to go. If you don't know about the gas can or the gas tank, this automatically feeds. Oh, I found cotton too. Oh my God, you guys. In the last episode, we were talking about how we couldn't find cotton. I really wish these would like place. There we go. Like so. Uh, we couldn't find any cotton, but I found some. It's unbelievable and amazing. Also, this guy, dude, you guys check it out, man. All wheel steering. It is a little bit unstable. Uh, we're going to work on that as we go. It, it has a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of Tokyo drift action going on, especially when it starts going faster. So the biggest thing we really need to move forward is get into some more component kits. Um, as far as cotton goes, you guys, the entire time we were playing right here. This is what you're looking for if you're trying to find cotton. This area is the autumn biome where it has these trees look like they're, it's autumn. You know what I'm saying? And then inside of here, bam, there it is right there, baby. Hot cotton action. Very simple to find. Very easy to get as long as you can find these biomes. Uh, it's everywhere inside of them. So now that I know what to look for, much, much easier to do some stuff and things. So, all right. Now, next order of business, I'm trying to figure something out here. Uh, the little crates that we get sometimes respawn and i'm not sure why uh back at the original crash site if you remember we was that a thing no uh we found a bunch of those crates and then when the pre-release version like the streamer version switched over to the full version i went back over to that area and i got a bunch of those crates back so i don't know if it was because the version switched or if it was because of time or what it was, but I want to head back over there right now. It's been a day. Look, they're back. I think these guys just respawn. Okay, we're going to have some bad hombres over here. Just got to be a little bit careful. But these guys right here, if we're looking for component kits, we got a bearing out of that. That is not bad. You think you got what it takes, homie? Bam. Get sucked. Uh, that doesn't make sense. All right, so let's go ahead and squirt that guy under there for right now. Check this out, man. We got a bearing. There's a component kit. I mean, you need, like, so many. I need, like, a hundred of these bad hombres. Let's go ahead and head back a little bit deeper and see if there's even more. How did that even happen? How in the hell did you get from there to there? Dude, this is so weird. Dear development team, why is your game weird? Uh, let's go like this. Let's go ahead and grab some blocks. We got another cow right there. We can grab them. I just got back. Uh, you know what? I got two. Two component kits. Um, from going back there and probably opening about 10 chests. I don't know what the deal with the component kits is. I'm assuming they're going to update the game and make it so that you can get them a little bit more easily. Some people, I've been reading online, some people are saying they're super easy to get. 
I, I don't know, man. I'm not seeing like I have a lot of them around. It just kind of seems odd. So we'll, we'll work on it, though. We're not going to let it get us too far down uh, or too. We're not going to get too depressed or anything. Hold on here. Are you in the way? Let me just put a block over here like this, bud. Because I feel like this is what your issue is. I think it's that these things don't. These prefab building pieces don't actually encapsulate you. I think that that's what the issue is. I'm, I'm just guessing, though. Um, let's go ahead and pop this guy over here. I did put blocks all around in that other area. No, 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 no. Just calm down. Calm down. You're going in. There's nothing you can do about it. Let's pop you kind of over on that side. No, over on that side. Uh, let's go like this. One of these guys right here. One of these guys right here. I also would like to put a block on that side too, but I think this guy's going to probably be, be blocking me. Get it? Blocking me? Get out of the way. You're not getting out. I don't care what you say. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get over there, fatty. Like that. So let's see if this sits. This works. So I don't think it has to do with grass or or whatever. I think it has to do with placing blocks around them. So we're gonna leave the, let those guys sit. Uh, I'm just gonna go grind component kits. I need them. I need. I must have them or I can't do anything. So I'm gonna go grind a ton, and I will be our beast, peeps. Back at base, and I feel like I figured out what's going on. <laughs> I think this robot came over here and killed these guys. I think, I think that's what's happened. You want to take it to the limit? You kill my cows? You can't kill my cows. And one of those guys. And where's your little deal? Dude, where'd your arm go, buddy? I need your freaking arm. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and grab his arm. Let's go ahead and stick it into the resource collector here. So it may be that they were getting attacked. So that's something that we could deal with in the future. Now, also, much food has been eaten. Much gathering has happened. Uh... Dude, I just put it right directly inside of here. I didn't know I could do that. And much component kits have been gathered, ladies and gentlemen. We have a bunch now. Bang, bang, bang. How many total? 30? Wait. Yeah, 30. Dude, 33. All right, sweet. Huge amount of component kits. Feels good, team. Let's go ahead and talk about some stuff and things. Now, here's what I want to do. I've always wanted to have my main vehicle here. And then I want to have another vehicle specifically for um, getting... Materials. Uh, I want to get a miner going. And I got to decide how we're going to do this. Uh, I want to make it pretty complicated. And there's some things in here that we want to start taking a look at crafting. I'm not really sure how this is all going to work. And we're going to see together. All right. So over here inside of this guy right there. Whoa. Circuit boards. Dude, I got circuit boards for days. What are you talking about, homie? Squirt, squirt. And then oil. Dude, do I have any? Oh, one? Oh, it looks like maybe we're not ready to do some crafting here. All right, so I think I'm going to have to go gather up some oil. I have some stuff and things, but what I want to get into here is crafting up some of these pistons. I haven't played with them yet. I want to see what they're all about. Uh, we're also going to have to start crafting up a bunch of these guys too, but I have tons of metal blocks. Now, remember, over in here, I already did that grinding. So these, these, and these. Let's go ahead and pop back over into this area here and squirt them in so we have them for crafting. I wish they... I wonder if you could put more than one on here and they'll, like, combine with each other. That would be amazing. What if I... Wait, do they have... I wonder if I could squirt one on the bot on the top. That would be amazing. I don't think they have a little anus on the bottom. It would be super cool if you could stack these right here, but they'll probably have to go that way. Um, so yeah, we want to talk about getting some pistons going. I'm gonna need more wheels. So these guys here, we're gonna need dude. Do I not have any of that either? No, oh, we have some. Bang, bang, bang. Uh squirt, 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 squirt. All right, so we have a little bit of that. Let me see here. We're gonna need at least four of these. Oh man, I don't have any wood. Dude, I really don't have any wood, do I? I only have the two inside of there, too. All right. So, also, the other thing that's kind of wacky right now is there's no way to stop crafting. Um, we can't really do that. So, we're going to need some wood as well. You know what? Why don't we get into some buzz saws? Let's get two of those guys going. Just so maybe we can play around with this really quickly. Pop the drills off and put some buzz saws on there. And then go ahead and harvest up some trees. That might be a cool thing to try to start to do. And then we'll work our way slowly but surely over to the hot piston action area here. Okay, super simple tree stuff and things. Yeah, get wrecked all the trees, dude. Did that take the stump out? Wait a second. Ah, terrible disaster. Hold on. Can you actually harvest these guys and get rid of the stumps? No way. I got a couple stumps over here. Let's go ahead and harvest these guys up. I don't think I previously placed anything small in. Or I might have harvested these guys manually. I didn't know you could take out the stumps. So check it out. This guy should work pretty good, man. You don't need a lot in order to get this going. We can over-engineer it and make something amazing. But for right now, I think we just go up here like so. Very slowly, in fact. Put a little pressure on it. Zerp, zerp. Bang, bang. Snap, snap. Zerp, zerp. Bang, bang. Snap, snap. Look at that. Already done, ladies and gentlemen. Nailed the ace that can't be stopped. 
it is a little bit wacky. It would be cool if this thing would move kind of side to side because you can see they kind of move out of the way a little bit here and there. So it's a little bit weird, but it's going to work. It's, we're going to be able to gather up all the things this way. Oh, I'm getting the hang of it now. Slowly, Slip Gator, slowly. Just add a little pressure. There you go. Like that. Just when you can see the little sparks coming off, then it's actually doing a thing. And as long as you don't move around too much, it looks like it's going ahead and breaking them down pretty well here. Like so. Yeah, there you go. Grab this guy. Uh, uh. Slowly, simply, and easily. Like that. Sweet. So that was a lot of the trees right there already broken down. So very simply, now we, what we can do in order to make this happen a little bit more quickly as well, we can pop over here. We can go ahead and uh, stop, grab one of these bad hombres and squirt it. Maybe it doesn't matter where it is. Anywhere on the back there. It's just so we can have it with us. You know what? I'm going to take out this stupid stump too. Right there. I think one day. <laughs> Come on, stump. Dude, this stump is much harder. It's like a harder wood or something. There we go. What about these stupid, dumb trees that I don't like that are in the area here? Oh, man. They're not even real. All right, we can't do anything like that. So now over here, we have all this amazing wood. What we can do is pop this guy off over here and go ahead and uh, maybe we place it down like that. Sorp, all that goes in, baby. Nail the day's escape stop. Sorp. Feels good, team. Oh, feels so good. Sorp. All right, so some of them aren't going to go in. You can whack them in. Whacking them in like that. Go ahead and maybe just place the individually kind of closer like so. Look at this man. Now, it would be nice if we had an automated system that would automatically like pick them up and stuff like that. John Bain, if you guys haven't been watching him, you know what? I'm going to give John a shout out for sure, man. If you haven't been watching his series on this game, man, he's got some really amazing machines and stuff. So definitely give him a, a, give him a watch and check him out for sure. Uh, I'd like to make some sort of tree harvesting machine. We just don't need very much wood. Infinite water, ladies and gentlemen. I think there's probably a better way to activate this deal, but I did go ahead and make the vacuum pump and water container and a button. And now all I have to do, instead of filling up stupid buckets in order to get this water, like to fill our crops, we'll still need stupid buckets. But yeah, all we got to do is hit this button. I think it actually makes two each time, 16. 18, schwanty like so. Look at that bad ombre, man. Just a simple little deal. Now that we have some stuff and things we can do some building, we've got it. So we have a bunch of water now. And what I've decided to do, I kind of want to take it slow. I always, when I play this game, I start off telling you guys what we're going to do that day. Because that's kind of what I like to do. And then I get to doing stuff and things. And I'm like, no, I can't do that. I've got to take time to make a water collector deal. So we got our water collector now. And I've started to make something that's going to help us to cut down trees. Now, I am very much being super noob at this. Uh, but I am discovering some different stuff and things. We're working on some different, I don't know, stuff that I'm going to try to make work. Uh, but for right now, it's not looking so good. Uh, we'll see how this all works out. So I got a couple of pistons made. I made a bunch of stuff and things, actually. Let me go ahead inside of here and pop in maybe all of our... Oh, oh, dude, that's our food bot. Dude, those food bots, they always freak me out, man. So uh, let's pop some stuff and things where it goes. Uh, this can go in there, actually. And then over inside of here, I have all my pieces. So there's a bunch of wheels. I did a little bit of suspension. I got some pistons here. I think I made three. Let me see here. Can I make a fourth piston? Crap on a cracker. I need some of these guys. I can make it now. That's right. We'll go ahead and make those guys right there. So we'll need some more pistons here in a second. But what I want to do is make a device that I can go up to a tree and then uh, kind of grab it. And I think I'm doing this kind of wrong. So what we're going to do is maybe go like so, pop all these guys off and pop these guys off over here. Pick up that guy and pick up this guy. So what I think we're wanna, going to want to do is over here, we're going to... Jeez Louise, how are we going to do that? I guess we need our pistons to be kind of on the side here. Uh, and I want it to open and close, basically, like Jaws. So these pieces go this way. These pieces go that way. And they open and close. So what we would need to do, most likely, is drop a piston here and a piston here. Like that. And then build our encapsulation protocol stuff and things uh, against this, like so. And I'm going to build it out of wood because it's a little bit lighter. Uh, and then what I think this is going to look like is something... Well, actually... 
This kind of needs to come in a little bit, I almost feel like. Maybe we pop these guys off and then pop that off. Pop this guy off like so and pop that off. And then it, like, like that or even further in, I think, actually. Yeah, like this. This will be perfect. Like that and like that. All right. So now as long as we connect it to this, it should still move freely. And then we can build this. Wait, why do you hate me, game? That isn't even close to what I was trying to do. Something like that. And then over here, let me uh, hook that guy onto there and then build this out like so. Like so. And then this guy maybe comes over this way. And this guy comes over this way. And I'm out of wood? Seriously? No. Like that, we leave a little space in the center. Now, if I go ahead and I take this tool here and I hook both of these pistons up to this button. All right. Now, if I pull, pull this off, it's going to fall down. If I go like this. Oh, it's doing it. All right. So what I can do now is I can change this to a higher number. Like so. One of this. One of those, one of those like that. Oh, now it opens up big time. And then it closes like that. So that could, looks like maybe it's not enough room to grab a tree. I'm not really sure. We're probably going to have to edit this as we go. But this is exactly what I'm trying to do. I like this. So far, so good. This will cut off the tree. This might need to be on a piston too. There's so many things we need to figure out. Oh my god. It's very exciting though. I am very excited. Stuff and things are happening. It's very, very exciting. All right. You guys ready for this? Watch this, man. Wait, what? It's not happening. Oh, crap. I put our wheels in the way. <laughs> All right. Hold on. This is not going to work. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this guy up. Let's go like this. I wanted to try to get our wheels as far forward as we possibly could. Uh, that looks like more like where it's going to need to be. So let's go ahead and pull this guy back a little bit like that. And then if we put that wheel on there, hopefully it'll clear. Let's go ahead and do a test. Let's grab that guy. Grab that guy. This guy goes here. And then this guy goes there. We're, this is very simple. Very simple for right now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Out, in, out, in. Working out our thing. So, next order of business. Ha 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 ha! The blades come down, ladies and gentlemen, and almost touch. You know what? I wonder. Mm, it looks like they're clearing on everything. I don't know if I can get them to go just the littlest bit in a little bit more, but I don't think I need them to. So, yeah, and then this guy, that guy, this guy, and then you guys ready for this? This guy. Oh, yeah, baby. So what we'll, what we'll probably do, this is how things will work. I haven't got the wheels hooked up yet, but this is how it'll work. You go up to the tree. You go like so. Turn the engine on. It zips it off on the bottom. And then inside of here, it starts to annihilate it. That's the plan. Now, next order of business I think we're going to need to do here. Let's go ahead and do like this. And let me pop up here. And then can I jump up all the way up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Does it need to be this high, do you think? Like so. I think that's ten. And then ten. I want to make sure, you know what, just for right now, let me put something in the center here so I can walk. I want to make sure that this is, it doesn't necessarily need to be like a specific size. It just needs to make sure that it holds. It's got to hold the tree standing upright. You know what I mean? And it's got to be nice and solid. So if we pop this, is that guy a little bit too high? Like this and like this, uh, like that. All right. So these guys need to be fixed like this. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it from this side. Maybe I can because I'm amazing. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Like that and like that. A little hardcore parkour kind of sort of. Pop this guy off. And then that guy. Yeah. Terrible disaster. But that's fine. All right, like so and like so. Now, that kind of looks like it'll hold the tree. It seems to be doing okay. I think that will hold the tree. I can't even believe this is going to be a thing. So, uh, now issues that we're having. Uh, I need a second engine, I do believe. I don't think it's going to be cost effective for me to upgrade this engine any further. I have my gas tank. I got this guy right here. So, we're going to need a second gas engine. And let me go ahead and take a look. I've already gone on and got a bunch of freaking resources, man. But it's, it's never enough. It's never enough. All right, uh, oil, let me just double check and see. We just got the three inside of there. So a second engine, and I'm probably going to have to go get, uh, I only have 11 component kits left. I'll probably end up having to go farm more of those as well. But it looks like it is becoming a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we are ready to try this bad ombre out. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to be a thing. But we are definitely going to try. Let me pop over here. Here's a tree. Oh my god, you guys, is this even going to be a thing? I wonder if those branches have, like, uh, clipping. If they do, that could be bad. Get in there. Oh, man, they do, I think. I think the tr I think the branches have, like, a clip. 
maybe we could come at it from a different angle. I think we can actually. I think we could come at it like this over here. Let me go ahead and back up. Oh, wait, there's a big tree right here. Hold on. Never mind that tree. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this guy out over, over here. So we don't have suspension. We don't have a lot of things. Like, it's this is kind of bare bones. We have a lot of upgrades, but yeah, other than that, I don't even know. So we pop over here, like so. Get in. Get in as far as you can get in. Okay. Okay. It kind of sort of is working. Oh, yeah, it's working. No, the tree's falling down. No, why, cruel world? Why? Oh, it's still kind of working. No, the tree fell down. Terrible disaster. Oh, man, dude. It was so neato Toledo. And it's like not actually harvesting all these guys right now. All right, hold on a second. Let's go ahead and like so. Let's go ahead and uh, open her up a little bit. Like so. Damn it all the hell. That guy didn't work. All right, so mayhaps we need to make the support, su su support? The support structure up uh, top a bit higher. A bit higher support structure would probably work. I can't even say support structure for some reason. Let's go ahead and try this tree. It's a smaller tree. We're going to come at it from a better angle. This is going to be much, much better. Let me see here. This guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're in it. Squirt him in there like so. Begin. Oh, yeah, baby. Don't fall down, tree. Yes! This is exactly what I want to have happen. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, man. So it kind of almost did it. It is very, very close. It's very, very close. Bring that guy back in. Maybe now. Oh, man. Stuff is happening for sure. What if I, like, move around a little bit? Will that help? I don't think so. Maybe we can go like this and like that. Squash it in there. So I think what we're having for... We're having a couple of different issues. Oh, man. Dude, we're so close. We're really hung up on this guy now. Hopefully we can get out of there. So I think that our support structure needs to be taller. Um, I'm also feeling like maybe there's a couple of different things we could do right here. Let's just go ahead and pop this guy on like that. Uh, why don't we also uh, connect some wooden blocks like this? So we left this little space. We don't need that. We can't actually hook this up like this. And as long as we connect it to the blocks on the side, it should still open. Like if we go like so, and then we go like so... You see like that now if we pop this guy off it should still open and close this shouldn't be a problem but now it'll be more of a solid connection you see what i'm saying like that and like that so that'll be more of a thing now inside of here what if no 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 this guy right there so what if we set the angle to be uh steeper like can you wait i can't even angle it right now there we go like so and like so 45 click down over here can i make that i don't even know why it won't work there we go. I had it. There we go, like that. All right, so now, will it, like, come in and touch? Oh! Oh, better! Oh, improvements have been made. You can see stuff and things are, like, kind of squirting around. It's a little bit weird. Oh, that's looking pretty good there. Why don't we go ahead like this again, and then let's bring this down a touch. Let me try to... We did that guy down there. Let's hook that guy up over there and that guy up over there. All right, so this looks a lot better. I think it is. Uh, I think that we should also put additional supports. We uh, Honestly, we might want to put a third blade. But for right now, I think I'm going to like this and then kind of an additional support right there. And then maybe up in here too, we go like so and like so. I'm not being too measury. I'm just kind of getting it done. You know what I mean? Like that. Oh, these actually all link it up anyway, so that's fine. All right, so those guys are all linked up over there like that. And then I think this needs to be much, much higher. So what I'm going to have to do here is build, like, a little bit of a deal. Whoa, do a little bit of a deal. And then I only have 70 blocks left. All right, I'm going to go do some work. I'm going to make this taller. All right, I see another tree. I've made several improvements. I see another tree. I don't know if we're going to be able to grab this guy. There's a bunch of stuff around it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about any of that stuff. We're just going to grab it. All right, hold on. Let's go like so. Bring it around. I basically just made it bigger. I just made the support structure bigger. So hopefully that's all we need to do. <laughs> I hope that's the only improvement that actually needs to be made to this device. All right, so inside of here. Can we get in there? Oh, we're running into some issues with some of these 
Oh, we're kind of tippy. Uh, some of our little support beam deals are catching. Let's just hammer it in. Hammer it in. You got it. All right, like so. Get it hammered in. It's catching up top there. All right, this isn't going to work. We can't just, like, kind of do it. You know what I mean? It's got to be a thing where we want it to, like, be set up correctly if we want this to be a thing. Maybe over here. What about this guy? Okay. I think we got it. Is it working? Are you cutting down my tree? What is happening? Why isn't it working? It's supposed to be amazing. There, it went down. Yes. Keep cutting. Oh my God. Cut that tree down. Yeah, baby. Get it. Nice. All right, we got a couple pieces that we didn't get. We can just maybe back up a little bit and then it wasn't like a hundred percent. We got, wait, what? One and then two right there. There's a second guy. There like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it a successful test. Holy crap, man. I can't even believe this, this thing is such a pain in the butt. All right, hold on. Uh, right there. Yoink. Squirt all those guys inside of there. This takes a second. Clean up. Like so and like so. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pop this guy back over here on the back. Uh, like that. All right. Feels good team. All right. The big tree. You guys know we got to try it out, man. We definitely got to try it out. Now, I'm feeling like we could do a redesign. A third blade somehow. I don't know how we could do it. But a third blade probably in the back or in the front or something would be really, would really make this work. Now, they, we got a stupid rock in our way. But I think this is a better angle to come at this guy. All right. A little bit. Careful. Careful. Yeah, it doesn't like it because we're at an angle. It has to be really, really straight for this thing to work. That sucks. Uh... Let's see if we can find a tree that's more at an angle. That's a little bit bigger. Let's grab this guy over here and see if this one works. All right. Big, big tree. Coming up on it. Bam! Hit that guy hard. Squirt it in. Turn it on. Hit the deals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, no. It's, it's caught up top. Let's jiggle it around a little bit. Damn it all to hell. Man, oh, man. Get in there. There we go. Get wrecked, stupid tree. No one loves you. All right. Additional changes. I uh, changed the superstructure support system now so there are less places for the logs to get uh, caught. Let's go ahead and hammer on this guy. You guys, what do you think, man? Look at that thing. <laughs> it's so much fun. All right. Hold on. We got to grab this guy right here. All right. Let's turn it on. Don't fall. Don't fall. No, it's going to break. No, it's so, no. Just fall down into my blade. No. <laughs> oh, crap on a cracker. <laughs> well, it's not as clean as I would like. I wish that it worked a lot more cleanly. Like every single tree automatically fell and there was no sort of an issue. But such is life and uh, not everything works exactly like you planned. But I can tell you one thing, you guys. We made something that harvests trees. It definitely does. And it's really, really fun. And it's really, really cool. And it definitely made it so that it was faster. Uh, I can harvest trees much, much more quickly now. Uh, there we go. We got a bunch of blocks inside of here. 200 tree blocks. You can get that pretty quickly. Uh, just hanging around doing stuff with your... Um, with your axe as well. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. So, some big technological advancements. An unbelievable and amazing crafting deal. This guy right here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for coming out to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget. Show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff of things be with you.